This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. You're listening to Sunday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Oh, good girl. Oh, that's it. Didn't she do well with her lunch, Alice? <laughs> Mum's cauliflower sheep. Genius. With carrot stick legs. <laughs> it's the only way we got you to eat your vegetables. Well, I still love my veggies, so it works. Oh, glad to hear it. <laughs> Sorry your mother's not here, but Christine insisted they'd arranged a visit and wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> well, there's no arguing with Auntie Chris. None at all. We've had a lovely time with Grandad, haven't we, sweetheart? <laughs> Well, me too. Oh, Rory's back today. Not sure when. He he didn't tell you, I suppose. Me? Uh, No. No, he didn't. Well, we'll see him when we see him. Now, what's left on your list from the solicitor? Uh, Only the pension documents, which I'll drop into her this week. Oh, Martha. Come on, let me get that for you, darling. Although I was wondering... Mm -hmm. There there you are, Martha. (laughs) That's the cow, isn't it? I don't know if if Chris is... Well, his fling is worth mentioning to her. To your solicitor? Yes. Well, I didn't think that made any difference with these new divorces. Probably not, but... Only me! Oh, he's here. In the kitchen, Rory. Thought you were going to text. I can text now, if you like. (laughs) Very (laughs) funny. Welcome home, sonny boy. Do you have a good journey? Uh, Not bad, Alice. Hey, Rory. And how is this smiley little girl? (gasps) Even smilier than last time. (laughs) There's some beef in the fridge you want to make a sandwich. Jenny's doing roast chicken later. Well, I had a burger at the station, thanks. But dinner later sounds great. He's looking quite dapper, don't you think, Alice? That's sure awfully smart. Mm, Must cost a fortune. Uh, It was on offer, so no, not remotely. Mm, You've got a good eye for a bargain. Well, just like you. True. Well, it's lovely to have you both here. It's made old man very happy, hasn't it, Martha? Oi, bless the old. Hi, Mum. Oh, hello, love. What can I get you? Just need something for lunch, that's all. You all right, Christopher? Not really. Thought you were catching up with things at the forge. I've got nothing done. Seems I can't do the simplest jobs without messing it up. Oh, dear. I've got a ton of invoicing. I usually do it in the evenings, but once Martha's asleep, I'm too knackered. And it's hard to concentrate when you're out of sorts. Mm. She's had some troubled nights then, you never say it. Oh, no, she's fine. Same as always. It's me. I can't seem to settle. I ended up texting Amy, which I shouldn't have, but I need to know she's all right. No reply, of course. Hmm... I have got some news on that front, actually. Yeah? Usha was in earlier for some milk and uh, she said Alice and Amy made up last week. Did they? You mean properly? Seems so. And Amy's in a better frame of mind now, apparently, which is a massive relief for Alan, of course. Yeah, and me. Yeah, well, I thought you'd be pleased. I just want her to be okay, you know? (laughs) Oh, I don't know. I keep thinking... This time two years ago, things were fine. Except they weren't, were they? Why is everything so difficult? Why don't you head up to the flat and I'll come and make you a sandwich? Oh, yeah, that'll sort everything nicely. Uh, Well... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mum. But I've just had such a rubbish few days. Go on, love. You need a little break, that's all. Yeah. All right, then, thanks. Honestly, as if I hadn't got enough to do without repairing yet another fence. <sighs> Hold it still, Freddy. Sorry. So, anyway, I priced up some speakers in the light show and... Well, basically, to buy them new... Arm and a leg, I bet. <sighs> entire body. But I need them for all the gigs I'm going to get this summer. So I've been looking second-hand. Uh-huh. <clears throat> anyway, I'm glad I caught you, Josh. Yeah, that should do. Yeah. Oh, now, if if you're asking me to source second-hand DJ gear, no can do. Way out of my skill set. Forage harvester, yes. Disco lights, no. What? 
No, it's about Lower Loxley. Our Easter event, in fact. Yeah? Why me? I need to ask you about eggs. Oh, eggs. Mm. Now you've got my attention. Egg rolling, to be specific. Now you've lost it. It'll be something different and exciting for our family groups. Egg rolling? Yep. Egg rolling. Different and exciting. Freddie, mate, you need to get out more. I thought it was quite a fun idea. Probably was in the 1800s. OK, it's an old favourite, but sometimes they're the best. Only if you've got an original twist. Hmm, yeah, of course. Like... Oh, my days! Easter is two weeks away, Freddie. Your publicity must have been out for literally months. The best this will be is a distraction for the little brats who turn up at your door. Uh, we value our younger visitors. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, they'd be your eggs. Oh, right. I'd need a load of eggs, which I'd buy from you. Now you're talking. Mm, great. Give me the right money and I'll hard-boil them for you. What? You've seen the price of gas. Uh, OK then. I, I guess that's fair. Anything else I can help you with, mate? Alice fancied a walk in the country park this afternoon, didn't you, Di? Well, I have to pop home for my wellies, but, yeah. What do you think, Rory? What about? A bit of fresh air? Um, nah, don't think so. Oh. I promised Ben I'd go over to Brookfield. Well, that's a shame. Well, there'll be plenty of time to get together over the holidays. Well, I expect Alice will be busy with stuff. No, I'm quite free at the moment. Right. Uh, did Jenny get my Mother's Day card, by the way? Yes, yes, it was very amusing. She chuckled all day. Oh, I thought she would. <laughs> all right, darling. You must see what Martha and Alice got her. Uh, where she put the box? It was just a little something ah. from Underwoods. Ah, a little glass pony, look. Their glass ornaments are lovely. Oh, nice. Actually, I've got her a little something too. And you? No, there's no need. Fancy a few days in Bath? Sorry? Won't they get a bit wrinkled? <laughs> the city of Bath. A serviced apartment close to the Royal Crescent. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, Jenny loves Bath and the Royal Crescent. I remember her saying. You can't afford that. <laughs> Not on a student loan. No, 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 it's free. My mate knows someone who knows someone, you know. Really? You must be mixing in pretty wealthy times. Yeah, there's a few. Well, that's incredibly thoughtful of you. Jenny will be over the moon. Oh, damn, it's Martin Gibson. On a Sunday? Oh, the man's a workaholic. I won't be long. Martin, what can I do for you on this day of rest? So, how's uni? Left you a couple of messages, but you're probably busy. Too busy for your whiny voicemails, yeah. What? Whiny voicemails. Right. Nothing's changed, Alice. You didn't really think it had, did you? So they pay an entry fee, get an egg, then paint it. Yeah, and, and you could judge the painted eggs before they're rolled, I guess. Ah, great idea. And you run the egg rolling races in, I don't know, in age groups, with prizes for first, second and third or something. That could work. Yeah. Hey, and pancakes always go down well. I love pancakes. Everyone loves pancakes, especially kids. You could do that in the orange tree. Oh, Wow. Pick your own filling. I'll supply the extra eggs. You can flag up there from a local supplier. That'll please everyone. We'll need lots. I can even do a display for children, maybe. Video the hens. Something interactive for them. Answer questions. Yes, in the crop barn. There's craft activities and things going on in there. Give out my promotional flyers to the parents. Sell a few eggs. That'll really work, you know. Something extra special for a family day out. Great. It's an... Excellent extra. Right. And Mum is going to love it. Mmm. That's a nice cup of tea. Yeah. Did I tell you Tracy stopped by last week? Well, she's talking to you now. Neither of us were thinking clearly, I'm sorry to say. We were that worried. Yeah, it must have been stressful. Yeah, but your dad's finally sleeping better now, so we've turned a corner. Mm. I bet it's a load off their minds for Jazza and Hannah and all. Oh, I'm sure. It's really difficult with Alice, Mum. She's... She's different. I don't know what she's going to do next. Oh, she's got a nerve, that girl. You've done your best for Martha since the day she was born, which is more than she's done. What good has it done me? It doesn't seem to count now. Everything's suddenly gone pear-shaped. I do understand how you feel, Christopher. 
Oh, when I think of poor Amy, practically drummed out the village by the Aldridges. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how serious it was between you, but, well, you never had a chance to find out, and that's not right. It was horrible timing. My head was all over the place, and still is. You can't be making big decisions in the middle of a divorce. Mm. I can't hate Alice, Mum, however hard I try. Mm. And Amy, well, I think she got in a bit deep a bit too quickly. Right. Oh, poor thing. She is a lovely person, and I couldn't have coped without her these last few months, nor could Alice. But now Alice has forgiven her, it sounds like Amy's feeling a lot better. And that's good. It really is. You have to focus on yourself now, little Martha. I'm afraid anything else is a distraction. Mm. Apart from my invoices, of course. Maybe Alice is finally realising things are more complicated than she thinks. Don't you worry about her. You just need to move on with your life, with Martha safely with you, and all our love and care. That's the best thing for her. Whatever Alice thinks. I was hoping we could start again, you know? Start again? Why? Because you're my little brother. Half brother? Well, I think of you as my brother. (laughs) I didn't stop you mouthing off about my mum. I know, and I'll always feel bad about that. Rory, I'd really appreciate it if you accepted my apology and we tried getting back to how we were. Nothing's changed since Christmas, Alice. I said I didn't want anything to do with you and I meant it. Right. Actually, a lot has changed since Christmas. Maybe not for you, but it has for me. I don't care. And now I'm so much closer to my own baby, well... Now, I can see how what I said was... Unforgivable? Yes, it was. I rest my case. I wasn't myself. Mm, That's debatable. Well, then maybe we should get this out in the open and tell Mum and Dad. What? So you can upset them again? No. It's about being honest. Oh, (laughs) and you'd know all about honesty. Look, I love you, Rory. You'll always mean a lot to me. (laughs) But... But I'm afraid I can't keep apologising again and again only to have it thrown back in my face. So don't waste your breath. Let's just keep out of each other's way, all right? Well, that's up to you. If you want to steer clear of me, feel free. I will. But to be clear, I won't be changing my plans to suit you. What? I have my life here, all the time. Not just the holidays. So no, Rory, you do what you want. But I'm not changing a single thing I do. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him for an 